All right, thank you for staying with us. It is time now to know what's on the front pages of uh, Nigerian newspapers. And joining me is in-house analyst uh, Obani Akinwali and lawyer Tunji Abduhamid. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Right. Let's begin with uh, the first newspaper. British government opens up on Namde Kani's arrest, extradition, High Commission says IPOB leader wasn't picked up in UK. you find details of the story on the pages of the first newspaper. To the blueprint now, uh, Arewa Consultative Forum or Haneze others to federal government treat Kanu's trial with coercion, rule of law. Uh, the uh, groups are reacting to Namdi Kanu's arrest. So they are asking the government treats uh, Kanu's trial with caution and the rule of law. You find details of the story on the pages of the blueprint. To the Daily Trust now, how federal government used Interpol to extradite Kanu. Why I jumped bail. He'll face fresh charges. Government, Iowa Consultative Forum, Ohanese Worldwide, welcome rearrest. IPOB leader to remain in DSS custody till July the 26th. To the Nigerian Tribune now, Ohana is a ACF, a Fanny Ferry Group, to react as federal government arrests, rearranged uh, Kanu, how he was arrested, Malami, why I ran away, Kanu. All right, to the Nation newspaper, still talking about Namde Kanu's rearrest, how Namde Kanu was arrested, risked to Abuja, Malami, it was a joint security action, court remands IPOB leader till July the 26th for trial to restart why I fled the country. All right, to the Daily Sun now, how Interpol nabbed IPOB leader in Europe. We intercepted, brought him back with foreign collaboration, says Malami. Uh, court remands him in DSS custody. Adjourns a trial to July the 26th. I fled Nigeria to save my life. Uh, Namdi Kanu, uh, government must be cautious. Mbazulike. All right. To the Vanguard newspaper, how federal government worked with Interpol to nab IPOB's Namdi Kanu. Our court remands him in DSS custody, fixes July the 26th for accelerated trial. I fled Nigeria to save my life, Kanu tells court. Kanu wrongly tried, detained, Ejimako, IPOB leader. Um, don't manhandle him, he's a freedom fighter, Kanu's brother tells uh, uh, federal government. His arrest is not the end of IPOB. IPOB reacting there. All right, let's move quickly now to the business day. Emergency. Nigeria needs jobs. 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 Emergency. Nigeria needs jobs. Jobs. And more jobs. You find details of the story on the pages of the business day. To the Nigerian News Direct, why federal government is acquiring 20% stake in Dagote uh, refinery. Kiari. All right, you find details of the story on the pages of the Nigerian News uh, Direct. To the Punch newspaper, 18 judges uh, court uh, acceleration, elevation rather, EFCC fraud cases, 1,000 others to start afresh. Uh, five of my cases will start afresh, EFCC counsel, judge handling two, 2,006 cases afresh prom promoted. Uh, NJC should give judges six months to complete cases, backdate promotions, says Falano. All right. Uh, the Guardian newspaper now, disbelief, shock, trail, IPOB leaders, arrest, rearrangement. Uh, court orders he is remand in DSS custody agents hearing to July the 26th. Uh, Ohaneze, Afeni Ferry, Northern Elders urge caution in prosecuting him. Kanu's arrest, elimination, won't quench agitation, says group. Huriwa, uh, that's Human Rights Watch, is if you can arrest Kanu, nab or terrorists, bandits in North. Uh, that's the last paper this morning. All right, uh, gentlemen, let me begin with uh, the reaction coming from the Guardian newspaper. Disbelief, shock, trailing, IPOB leaders, arrest and rearrangement. Uh, were you surprised? Were you shocked? Uh, let me start with you, Nii. Uh, let me say I, it was not a shock to me. And I was never... Uh, for me, it's not something breaking. I've said it on this forum severally that uh, the international communities are the bane of a problem in Africa and Nigeria. Mm, and I've said, it so, I've said it severally that is until we begin to look inward and begin to forget about what you call allies when it comes to international politics. You recall 
there was a visit of President Muhammad Buhari to France a couple of months back. And a lot of people were asking that was he invited, why was he there, and what have you. And if you look at the trend, after the visits to France, the rate at which our military are pounding the bandits and the Boko Haram terrorists are suddenly increased. And you recall around that period when the Iswap and the Boko Haram had their infighting and Shekar was killed. And uh, there is no way the UK of this world, who uh, some paper claims that were part of people that find a way of granting uh, Mazin Amdekano asylum, that are not aware that Nigeria has placed Namdekano on Interpol watch for repatriation. So it, it is, I think it will be very, very clear to all of us now that it is high time we stop believing in all these Greek gifts from the foreign missions. Because what interests them more is what they are going to make from this country. And that is exactly the case of uh, Namde Mazi, Namde Kanu. I'm not surprised because they have been on his trail. Mm -hmm. And the, the Nigerian government, uh, the body has said they will start speaking a language that we understand. And I'm hoping that other agitators that are leveraging on international society for help for call will learn from this to ensure that we do things within the law, we do things that are justiceable. Human recall does he have right for self-determination? It is globally acceptable. But on what route are we taking it through? And I believe uh, uh, with, the, with what we have on our hands now, uh, it's just like a banana peel. If the federal government is not careful, they step on this pill, they can set this country on fire. Now, that is where I, I'm bringing it to you now, uh, Tinji Abdul Hamid. Uh, being careful. I mean, to put it in proper context, what would that be? The concern of a lot of persons is government should be careful. Government should ensure it has fair trial. And government to, should be seen to be handling this case without any form of sentiment. And I'm wondering, what could that be? in your perspective? I think that is captured by, the, uh, by fear hearing. Mm -hmm. Was that careful? Uh, what, what was the other one again? The, in other words, they are saying, look, let this case be treated in line with the law. Let the law prevail, not, not sentiment, just like you said. You know, they should make sure that, look, he, justice is, uh, is done and seen to be done. Mm -hmm. In other words, they should make sure the trial is open, is not hidden, and is not coerced. And it's not treated in a Coerced way that... Coerced in what, in what sense? In that word, it's not been... That, that you, you, don't, you don't see a situation whereby... You, you see, if you, if you are comfortable with our uh, court, or our police, sorry, police situation and the custodies, the way they, they extract evidence from uh, suspects, <laughs> it leaves more to, to be desired. <laughs> because right. it's more or less like a, mm. a, the punishment. You have been treated in a, in a very bad... In fact, to the extent that some people will be shot to, for them to be able to con confess. So, mm -hmm. you know, you know, so I, I, I expect them to treat him uh, fairly, to follow the rule of law, and ensure the, the judge, judgment, justice is not, it's not only done. Well, they seem to be by done. the people to be done. Mm -hmm. I, I, again, I am surprised. Mm. I am. Really? I am, Why? I am surprised for the first time. Why? <laughs> I, 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 I am surprised. I am surprised because uh, I did not see it coming. Mm. Unlike it's not it's not it's not it's not in line with what uh, we, we were used to. Whereby before they even take step, you've seen it on the paper. Mm. And it's not it's not it's not seen in any paper. Nobody mm. even knew that they had, they had planned. And he had been this in the country the since Sunday, and nobody knew. Yeah, this is the way to operate. That is the way to operate, and you get results. It's not about first of all going to the media, start making media trials, start making pronouncement or whatever, and then you, you want to achieve anything. You don't achieve anything. So it, it is it is it's an evidence for me that look, the government if desired, if committed. If interested, can achieve results if they want to achieve it. So I think the the, the Do we have to leave it to conditionality if yeah. if we want to yes. because we are seeing what yes. is yes. It shows in the country. It shows the arrest of Kanu without anybody seeing it, seeing it coming. I didn't see it coming. I don't know if other people have seen it coming. I, I, do. I don't know whether you have seen it coming. No, I did not. He said I said I, 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 do. I don't see it coming because, because so I am surprised. If you look at the trend of events in the last uh, two months, mm. uh, you recall vividly. There was a time every day in Himo, in major parts of the southeast, yes. is burning Attacks. down of police, mm. killing of military. And you discover that the military we used to have, you hear operation Crocodile Smile, Snake uh, Python Dance. Mm. When this uh, current chief of army staff, uh, General Rabo, took over, you, you hear that they will create a mission, but you not hear them dancing or singing. But mm -hmm. you see the way they are battering both the bandits and the the agitators ESN in the Southeast. So it, for me, as if you look at that trend, you understand that 
uh, the government uh, in Brazil Wari has taken over the responsibility of Alaji Lai Mohammed of this world or Malami of this world during the talking. He has talked himself, so the rest of them keep quiet. And when they keep quiet, that's the result we are seeing. So if you have seen the trend of the Southeastern elders lately, about how the federal government is pounding the ESN, how the military are parading the Southeast, how the Southeast caucus, the governors come out to say, uh, yes, we want to talk to ESN. You will know intelligence shows clearly that they are getting close. They, you know when this IPOP thing has been known? You remember the only answers? When this man was going on said, burn this person, this, take, remove their uh, magazine, do this, nobody talked. Now, when they start pounding them, removing people from ceiling, burning their camps, the first time our Anais uh, Indigbo came out and said, the government should not kill their youth, and the government should let listen to their youth. Then the governors and the stakeholders in the southeast came and said, this is what they want to do. So, and you will see this, the, even the south-south, immediately they notice that the Avengers are coming out. They first had to the president and said, this is our agitation, this is what we are requesting from you. So, so it's obvious that all the stakeholders, they have intels that what this government is about to do. So his arrest now yeah. is not going to fuel the agitations we are seeing in the South. The, the, the arrest of uh, uh, Mazin Namdekano will go two ways. The first way is that, that's why I said it's a banana peel, mm. is if we are not careful, we do the kind of the former uh, Muhammad Yusuf of old Boko Haram. They treated him and put him in jail and they killed him. And thousands of Yusuf came out to start disturbing the peace in the northeastern part. If they don't, if they don't, they are not careful, they are going to have that again to deal with. But the other part of it is this, just what you read in the headline this morning, that about 18 judges were elevated from appeal court mm. to high court. Remember the case of former NSA, uh, the man from Sokoto that was kept in prison for long echoes. So if Justice uh, Binta Yako is now uh, elevated to court of appeal, what clearly shows is that there will be another retrial by whoever is signing that court. So they may, it may have a delay. But again, what I'm saying is this. When uh, uh, President Biden met the Russian president, he was asking about the political activity in Russia, why was he being cast? He said he knew that we are looking for him, and he came, and we arrested him. So the international community as they were, I'm just appealing to us as Nigerians. Our problem is never external. Our problem can only be resolved internally. See. I was talking to a senior colleague this morning, Rock Webelik, and I was saying there is no part of this country that is uh, that is uh, out there maltreated, except possibly maybe the South South because of their oil, the fishing, and what have you. See, the first republic was amalgamation between the North and the East. We all know this. Don't you about just turned up? The southern part of this country has politically ruled this country during this political administration for 13 years. The first uh, headquarter of this nation was in the southwest. The first president in this country was from the southeast. The whatever elections PDP has won overlatedly in this country today was a agreement between the southeast and the and the north and the north. So if we begin to now say somebody is marginalized, you were the one giving your vote. Now what I what I assume this will lead us to is that go, uh, power is not serve a la carte. Power is not given. You have to agree. The, the Southeast people are crying that they are being marginalized by the Fulanese, by the Ausas, or whatever. Now, and you want to become the president. And the presidential system can only be happened by voting system. Mm. So, how do you ask a Boroma that is selling onion in uh, Anambra that you have crippled his business to come and vote for you? So, we need to come to the table that what is Inam Dekanu asking for? He's asking for fairness. And who are the people that are not fair to us? We, the followers. We are the yeah. problem. Yes, it's not the leaders because the leaders are coming out from we the followers. Leaders are not coming from heaven. It's part of the system. So we you find out whereby so? you find a situation whereby uh, Do you agree with him. That we are our own. We, the follow we, are, we are part of the problem. We are the problem. We are, the problem. We are, we are, no, the problem is everybody. The leaders because leaders where are the leaders coming leaders, from? Among the followers. followers, we are all the same. Mm -hmm. They are just leaders by, by privilege. Yeah. We are so the attitude of average Nigerians is the attitude of our leaders. So you, and you see a situation whereby most of us uh, feel uh, unconcerned, uh, particularly the allies, about the si si system. All right. This is what we'll get. So right. quickly, just hold the thought because we need to quickly go on a break. When we return, we'll continue this conversation. Just stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. Before we went on the break, you were trying to make uh, look, a point. I, I was trying to say that, look, yes. if you want to, we can't blame the leadership uh, of the country alone for the problem. 
the leadership are, are there. They have their, they have a problem. They have the major problems. But lead followership are also problem. In fact, they are not even even the matter because it's reason whereby you see followers uh, giving excuses to the leaders who are supposed to be to be answering questions to, uh, 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 from them. They is it, it, not part. So the attitude of Africa Nigeria is the attitude of every uh, every uh, of the leader where we have. The situation whereby you have most people not interested in governance, not interested. The youths, the youth are not interested in governance. They don't want to. They don't want to, want to know what is happening. Mm -hmm. The elites, they see it as a, it's a, it's a game for people who, are, who don't have a, who are not uh, serious or people who are who are the, the class as in quotes talk or something like that. If you lift your running of government to talks and you expect good results, how, how, how can it happen? So you see, uh, we we need to see participation in governance as our job our business, not for politicians, for everybody. So, the, and until we try to rule the country in line with truth and the uh, 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 rule of law, in other words, fairness, equity, and justice, because as it is today, correct, sincerely speaking, there are a lot of injustices, injustices in the country. There are a lot of uh, uh, unfair distribution of our, our resources. Mm. So that is, that is a problem to us. Until we do that, until we are ready to confront that uh, 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 issue and look for so and ask for a solution to it, we may not go. And, and, and I believe if we, the followers and the leaders, are interested in making this happen, it can happen. Mm. It can happen. The, the only thing is that people who are in government are only interested in how to secure the next election. And those, that, that is the problem. So they are not interested in how to ensure that and deliver the, on the dividends the, of democracy exactly so and we also will be looking for excuses for that. and the followers those who can understand the 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 the, the benefit of being of putting a proper person in, in politics uh, in, in government they will not be there those who vote majorly are people who don't even know, don't even understand who is the candidate they don't even know the name of the candidate what they want to see is that we are following social person and where it's going is where we're, where we're going <laughs> so that is a problem sorry I, I want to i want to say this and I say it with every sense of responsibility, the problem in this country is the followership. That's not to do with the leader. Even the issue of let me give, the let me give, deficit is, is, is let, also Let me give you an problem. example. Allegedly, Namde Kanu from uh, one of the brokers said, go and burn this place down. Is he talking to robots? Now, you have burned down thousands of BRT buses. Is Namde Kanu's source of livelihood going to be affected by that? You have burned down TVC, for example, and let's say they have put about 400 staff out of job. Are they Namdi Kanu's family? Mm. Did you see Namdi Kanu burning down TVC? Did you see the police officers that were shot down, that were asked to be killed? Are they, is it Namdi Kanu that carried on to kill them? The facilities that are burned down in Imo State, did you see Namdi Kanu putting fire on those facilities? The soldiers that are killed on the street, did you see Namdi Kanu doing that? No! It's the followers that carry it out. So that's why I'm saying that. The followers are not robots. They are not programmed. They are not just press MS does pam enter and you got it. So we God has God gave us brain to think, to analyze, to think logically. What am what is the consequence of my action? Mm. And so if a leader comes to me and said, uh, Nay, slap Veronica. <laughs> I should go ahead and slap because my leader has spoken. So that's why I'm saying that until we, and, and that's the problem as a country that we are facing. Right. Whatever he said from the United Nations, United Kingdom, and what have you, those, we always believe be, that be, be, this is the standard. Be, be, uh, say, say for example, I will give an example. United Nations is saying uh, people have right, right to self agitation. When there was UK referendum, the Scotland voted that they want to remain with the EU. The Northern Ireland voted they want to remain in EU. Even Greater London mm. voted that they want to still remain with the EU. But the United Kingdom, in their wisdom, says they the Brexit vote is living. So why didn't you allow separate like Scottish National Party or the Liberal Democrat to stay alone? That is one. When Russia and next Crimea, was there no United Nations law that forbids them doing that? What is happening in Tigray, in Eritrea, and uh, in, uh, in Ethiopia? Is United Nations not involved? So when we when they come here to paint things for us and look as if Africa we are demons, we can't rule ourselves. The first TV was in Africa before TV we have TV in France. The current president of France was an intern in Nigeria to learn governance. So it is high time we begin to look inward, and if we look inward, we have the right set of followers. And what I'm saying followers is this: in Israel, they determine that we don't want Netanyahu again. Mm. They all start that it is followership, the same party, and they pull him out and bring another person to rule the country. 
in America, they do the same thing. It's about followership. It's not about the leaders. We are we have brain. We should think logically and do things. In America, no, as never as a person carry gun and shoot anybody. The forces that have been burned down in the southeast are properties of southeasterners. The senators in the southeast, not in the circle, has been there for how many years? What has been the contribution of those senators to that region? What has been the contribution of those governors to that region? Where are the allocations of those people? Why can't they have good health? Why can't they have good water? Why can't they go to good schools? Why are they not talking when there's no insecurity? Why is the Bubeyagu not functioning after setting up for months? Is it right. about followership? Who is asking this question? But tomorrow, they will say, eh, Bubeyagu don't have uniform. They don't have gun. Why is it that now some southwestern states were able to curtail this insecurity? Is right. it the same worry that is allowing what is happening in Woro de Badon for people to be killed and be shot? It's about followership. When this man came and he said he's bringing XYZ to lead the motor park, you know it's accident. then. The followership said, Yes, oh, me too. Leadership too. Leadership this is what we are doing. It's about followership. But the leaders are because, because, the, because the magic of we are not we are not all intelligent. Mm. There are people and in this country today, mm. in view of the fact that there, there, is, there is poverty, mm. there's uh, 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 people who succumb to uneducated uh, uneducated illiterate, mm -hmm. yeah. people from people who are Privilege, use our advantage mm. to, to push things to them mm. and they follow it. They, like you said, they are not robots. They, they, some of them don't think properly the way you think. Because so, they haven't. So we have, if, you, if you have leaders yes. who is thinking in the, in, the, in, in the positive direction, okay. people also think in positive direction. Okay. But when you have leaders who are, who are giving a, a negative uh, instructions mm. and people believe that, look, what? The robots. For something no, to, so to, to robots. benefit some of they, they may not be robots, but they think like robots. I've engaged my, 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 my colleagues who are well educated. Right. Well educated. And if you see them talk about Masi uh, Namdikanu, uh, 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 <laughs> you will think they are talking about God. Hmm. They are well educated. Mm -hmm. Well educated. Mm -hmm. And they are not they are not they are, they are, they are not into property category. Mm -hmm. They are well, they are they are they are okay mm -hmm. in their own rights. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about so it's sometimes some people just talk about as if uh, when you see Injustice. Mm -hmm. When you see inequality, mm -hmm. people tend to play to your Please, to that. What is the nature of this inequality? No, and, and what is the nature of this injustice? In this, injustice? There, in this current, and in in this current setup, what is particularly, what is particularly in this in this current uh, regime? Yes, people have been clamoring. I've been talking. I've been complaining. The way and manner positions have been uh, 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 given. By the manner things have been done by, by, by the president. So I ask you this and, question: right. this and by the, this current government, this current political dispensation has been ruled in the, by the southern part for 13 years. Obasanjo did eight years. Jonathan did four years. Right. That's almost 14. Right. Now, what are you telling me? Is it that the North is so, not just no, doing... I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you, are you coming, I'm coming. I'm what coming. has been done? Are you saying, okay, so, so because you're in power, you should... No, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. that. So, so, I don't so, even so, believe in it. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. So, if we're saying there is injustice... We need to wrap up now. What I'm saying is there is injustice. Right. We need to look through, and it's high time we begin to look for home solutions. All right. Fine. America will not help us. UK will know it, but our problem is local and then should just fear local in the trial of in Abikanu. Thank you. They should be fair in the trial of in Abikanu and they should not say this country, please. Thank you very much, lawyer Tunji Abdulhamid. Thank you as well. I play you.